Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting design tutorial with UX Mate. Today we are going to create a cool loading animation in Figma. Yes so let's jump into the tutorial. Before it make sure you have already subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon. Because if you're not doing that you are going to miss a lot of exciting content. So let's jump into the Figma and uh, let's create a ellipse okay. I'll be needing uh, kind of three ellipses, so I'll create three of them of the equal size. I guess uh, I'll be working with maybe, you know, 500 by 500. So let me delete them. 500 by 500 pixels, okay, great. Let me just duplicate it. Now what we have to do is we have to, you know, create a arc first and then create a hollow circle let's make it a black let's do the same uh, for this as well okay uh, but this time let's do it a little bit smaller than what we have did earlier I guess I'll delete this I'll align them okay uh, probably I'll make this a little bit smaller so you know it is kind of aligned in the center of the black ellipse or black circle <laughs> Uh, now what we'll be doing, we'll be giving a nice cool gradient color to this. Linear also works. As we are using black as a, you know, background, let's have some shade of green or, you know, bluish kind of thing, which will be a vibrant on the black background. Maybe something like this. Okay. Looks good. Uh, let's have it as it is okay maybe like this you can adjust the look and feel you know how you want to uh, do it let's do it like this now let's duplicate the background circle and let's uh, okay yes it's good I'll just move it you know uh, make sure you know you follow the same model so let's rename this background mask and then loader okay uh, or you can say foreground. foreground now what I'll be doing I'll be adding a stroke as well to this and uh, we can have you know some sorry yes not the green but yeah in the same shades of blue but a little bit vibrant so which you know distinguish where uh, we are the opacity in our field it looks good let's just have it maybe you know uh, two pixels okay now uh, let's go to the mask and foreground and create a mask out of it okay well uh, before masking let's do it uh, a bit easier to do uh, nothing fancy you know you just have to adjust the sweep uh, maybe you know the 25 percent kind of thing and then what we'll be doing will be then uh, let's let's do let's add an effect and give it a layer blur and maybe you know somewhere around 20 pixels it, it depends how you want the fading around the edges now let's move it below the foreground select the mask layer select the foreground layer and create a mask out of it okay great now our mask is ready uh, i guess i'll adjust the blurriness a little bit i need a little more maybe 48 looks good okay now what I'll be doing, I'll be selecting all these three layers. I'll create a component out of it. Okay. Oops. Sorry. I'll create a component out of it. I'll give it a good name. Loading animation. Okay. Now let's create a property variant. And I'll be adding three variants. Uh, sorry. Uh, like, yeah, uh, total four. And uh, yes, one, two, three, four variants now. Let's select the variant 2. Let's go to the mask. Let's rotate it to the 90 degree, whichever direction doesn't matter. Same way, go to the third variant. Select the mask, rotate it. Okay. And for the last variant as well, select the mask. Make sure you are selecting the mask layer, not the foreground or not the mask group. And now rotate this mask okay oops 
yes so yep uh, our rotation is complete now uh, we'll create the interactions let's go to prototype create interactions instead of on click we'd be having after delay okay and let's set it to one variant 2 variant 3 variant 4 and then from fourth to the first variant okay uh, let's test this animation let's bring up our test frame uh, maybe a phone iPhone 14 okay let's bring it in let's scale it to fit in the frame align it to the center select your frame hit shift space bar to load an instant preview let it load wow it is working <laughs> now we just need to adjust the timing okay uh, i guess we haven't adjusted the duration we made it an instant kind of you know uh, let's make it smart animate and there you go you can change the easing uh, maybe you know uh, let's have 400 maybe 400 milliseconds now it will be a bit slower right so look at this cool loading animation you know you can trick the blurriness brightness of the colors and adjust the look and feel of this loader you may you know uh, want to go ahead and remove the what we see the field itself let's let's try it you know in a way let's select all the foreground layers in you know all of the mask groups and just hide the field for now and now you can see you know you have nice loading lines you know the animated lines around the circle okay so yep i hope guys you have enjoyed this tutorial uh i hope you already subscribed to the channel if not then do it now it's the right time to hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell icon next to it if you're not doing it then you are going to miss a lot of exciting design content okay so yep uh till the next video keep learning keep designing have a good day bye